Good morning, everybody. It's good to be with you on this beautiful Friday morning. Uh, we cer certainly did enjoy the weather yesterday when we got our first 80 degree day of the year. But as I watched the weather last night, there were some in Idaho who had some pretty interesting weather. And I guess in the evening, we got some of the rain and wind and a little bit of hail. But I guess in uh, Oneida, Franklin County, and up in the Boise area, they had tornado warnings and, and large, large hail. I think they said some of it was ping pong ball size. So did some damage in those areas. And I guess that's what you get with this kind of changing season. But it's good to see a little bit of summer-like weather. And it looks like we're going to have a pretty nice weekend. And that's where I'll start with you this uh, tomorrow, Saturday, uh, the 2nd of May we are going to encourage the citywide cleanup to go forward. Uh, I'll talk to you a little bit later about how we're out of the stay home order and what that kind of means to us, but we felt like that it was appropriate to go ahead and do this. And so we're gonna encourage you to clean up your garages, your houses, your yards, and bring your refuge over here to the city offices where we'll have uh, people able to help you get that uh, dumped. But probably one of the big things is uh, those of you who've had us uh, provide the service of branch chipping, we did not do that, and we are not going to be able to come to homes to do that, but we're encouraging people to bring their branches over here to the city offices tomorrow, and we will get those uh, branches chipped for you. So that's, uh, that's going to happen between 7 a.m. and 6 p.m. So again, we encourage a citywide cleanup, and, and that branch chipping is really going to be important. We'll have people here at the offices to, uh, to direct where you would go uh, to get all of that taken care of. Uh, on starting Saturday, excuse me, Monday, starting Monday, May 4th, our work hours are going to change. We're going to go from 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. And that's again a bit of a change. Uh, we are not immediately going to open the lobby. We're going to leave the lobby closed. And that has to do with what some of the, the directive we've given with this first phase is going to be. When we do intend to open that lobby, our hours will be a little bit different. We have found some, some ways to be a little more efficient with our hours and time. And so we're going to have the lobby hours when we do open the lobby will be from 10 to noon and then 1 to 3 or by appointment. We want to make sure we're covering folks who maybe can't make it in during those times. And so if you, once the lobby opens, if you feel like you need to come into the lobby to take care of some business and you can't do it during those hours, you could call us and we'll set an appointment and accommodate you. So we found some ways to be a little more efficient with our time and getting things accomplished that need to be done. And, and so that's what we're going to do. So look for that. But again, I, let me talk to you a little bit about the order that we're under now. The stay home order was lifted yesterday by the governor. He's now calling this phase of the stay safe. And we have posted on our website the first phase. It's fairly limited, but it does open some things up. I would encourage each of you who haven't become aware of, of that first phase and how it's to roll out, go to our website and, and review that and see what it means to you. I think probably the overall principle that I'd like to push this morning is the stay safe portion of it. I think we've learned some, some good habits over these last five and six weeks as far as uh, having some separation between ourselves uh, and taking care of, of sanitizing things and washing our hands and such, covering coughs, and especially to not go out at all if we, if we feel like we're sick, if we have symptoms of sickness. And so again, I think from there, uh, we just need to use some common sense, but we, we, I recognize that we have many businesses that are anxious to get their doors open, and I would just ask them to make sure and look at those stay safe rules, and, and if they can stay within those, if they can meet those parameters, I think it's time for us to start the open up of our community again. I just want to conclude by talking to you about, and really congratulating this community about how well we've done as we've tried to, uh, to limit the spread of this virus. As I checked the numbers last night, the Southeastern Idaho Public Health District, which is uh, the district we're part of, it's District 6, only had 14 confirmed cases. And uh, then in Bannock County, there were seven confirmed cases. And of those seven cases, only two of them are considered active cases. And as near as I can tell, and from everything I've been able to see in the city of Chubbuck, we have no confirmed cases. Now, with that being said, I'm being told by many health officials there's still a challenge out there and there's a potential we could have some spread in our community. I think if we'll just 
use these stay safe orders that our governor's given us and look at them and, and use a little bit of common sense uh, and really look out for our own health and the health of our, our friends and neighbors, particularly being aware of those who would be in what they call the vulnerable population. Uh, let's make sure and help them the very best we can. But I recognize that this has been a real disruption to our lives and to our economy and to our society and, and to many of the things that we enjoy doing. And I'm hoping that we can get back to some sense of normal quite quickly. We're going to actually have a staff meeting this coming Monday and talk about some of the things that we have got planned to happen during this summer. Some of them we're hoping we can find a way to make it happen. Some of them are not going to be able to happen. And so hopefully after Monday, I'll be able to uh, get with you and let you know some of the things that we are going to try to move forward with. The governor has given some very special and particular orders to youth activities. So we're going to especially talk about that and what we can do uh, to find a way to keep your youth active during this coming summer. So just grateful for each one of you for the things that you've been doing and accomplishing and, and uh, encourage you to continue with the good works. And we'll see you again next week. Thank you.